So it's been nine months now since I first got my hands on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, Samsung's foldable tablet smartphone combo. In this video, I want to share with you some of the personal experiences I've had with this phone in the last nine months of usage, show you how it has held up from a durability standpoint, explain how it fits into my real life day-to-day -day use case, and share some insight on whether or not I can personally recommend this phone to those of you out there who may be interested in getting one. So let's get started. Starting with the price. So at the time of this recording, we are seeing lower pricing than its original $1,800 retail price. I'm seeing $1,400 on Amazon and $1,000 for secondhand devices. And Samsung is always offering some sort of promotion or discount on their official website. So right now they're offering a Galaxy Watch 5 for $50 and enhanced trading credits. So I'll have some links down in the description of all the latest pricing for the Fold 4. So what is it that makes the Z Fold 4 so exciting to begin with? Overall, the most exciting thing about this phone for me is that we have a great one-handed smartphone user experience on the outside of this phone. And then on the inside, we have an amazing 7.6 inch tablet. And it's the fact that we have this with us wherever we go, right in our pocket, the ability to just pull out a tablet whenever and wherever you are is such an underrated feature. And then because of that, since you'll find that you can use this as your everyday smartphone and also your tablet, you don't have to be reaching for as many different devices. You can do a ton of things on this Fold 4 and you can do them very enjoyably. But how has the phone held up from a durability standpoint? Since of course, there's always the durability concerns with these foldable phones. So starting with the outer display here, I do have a screen protector on this outer display because it is going to scratch up when you do open up this phone and put it on any sort of tabletop and you're going to be scrolling through things you can see that you're always going to be moving that outer screen against the surface so your outer screen will always scratch on these phones i guarantee it but the most impressive thing about the durability on this fold 4 is that on my inner display i really tried to take a look at this before filming the video but i could not find a single scratch on this inner display there is a screen protector pre-installed on this phone straight out of the box it still feels very nice to interact with this phone with your finger and with the S Pen. These phones are almost more durable in a sense than they are standard smartphones. For the majority of the time of your ownership of this phone, that inner display is going to be protected by this brick of a device. I have dropped my Fold 3 straight on concrete, straight on decks with it folded up and nothing happened to the phone. So at this point, you may be thinking, okay, Shane, so we have a nice one-handed smartphone experience on the outside. We have a great tablet that can be with us at any time. Doesn't that come with a lot of extra bulk and heft? This Fold for is a fair bit heavier than your standard conventional smartphones. The S23 Ultra, of course, this is one of the largest smartphones on the market currently, comes in at 234 grams, and this Fold 4 weighs about 264 grams. So you have an additional 30 grams or so of weight, but when you factor in that you are getting a 7.6 inch tablet in addition to the whole outer display and a very nice premium feeling aluminum sided frosted glass backed phone, you really get used to that extra weight. And it's also worth mentioning that when the phone is opened up, it's only 6.3 millimeters thick, whereas something like the S23 Ultra is 8.9 millimeters thick. So every time you use this conventional smartphone, you are really feeling that extra thickness. Whereas on the Fold 4, when you have it opened up into tablet mode, it is actually a very enjoyable experience to hold on to with one hand. You can hold it in one hand. You can use it with one hand as well, which is also quite nice. Of course, it is very thick when it is folded up, but since this is a one-handed experience on the outside here, I find that it is still very manageable to use. Feels nice and comfortable in my hand. This phone is lighter compared to the Fold 3 and the previous Fold 2 to the point where I can feel the subtle weight difference here. That little bit of less weight really has made this more of a true everyday device for me. Taking it wherever I go doesn't feel cumbersome to me all that much and you will get used to it in due time. So with that in mind, how has the average everyday user experience been for me in the last nine months of usage of this Fold 4? This has been one of the most enjoyable phones to use on an everyday basis. 
because it's bridging the gap perfectly between smaller phones and larger phones with a smaller phone being something that's very nice and compact and enjoyably use it in your daily life. And then larger phones with their more immersive displays and more functionality with that added screen real estate, taking those two things, it's bridging it into one device. And then it's also expanding on it with way more screen real estate. So now in my everyday life, instead of reaching for multiple different devices, let's say maybe having a smaller phone and then a larger tablet to do things when I need a bigger screen, I have my one-handed use case right here, great smartphone user experience. And then we have the inner display, which is capable of multitasking functionalities and also just easily being able to drag out items. It is really nice to even just come down to the taskbar here and quickly switch between various devices that we are currently using. Also, web browsing is incredible on the Fold 4. It's really like a desktop experience. It's so nice to have all of your little tabs at the top here and just quickly switch between various different tabs. And I've just really enjoyed using this phone for really anything that comes to my mind. A lot of times I will have this phone out and I'm on the outer display, just kind of checking things out, see what's going on on YouTube. And then once I find something that I'm interested in watching, I can go ahead and either check it out on the smaller display here, very easily read some of the comments below, but then I can just open this right up and I'm right into an amazing display here. This is so good for watching YouTube. This is one of the best devices for watching YouTube as far as mobile devices go. Full display here as far as if you were watching in landscape orientation on your phone. And then you can also read the comments at the same time. And then you also have access to all of your apps down here still below. If you don't want that, you can just hold down in the corner and then you can just hold down again and it'll come right back. And the more you use a device like this, the more use cases you find for it. And these different use cases have been super helpful to me here at home around the house, but also more importantly, when I'm out and on the go. I love that when I'm out and about, if I don't wanna have a massive phone being very distracting, if I just wanna quickly check some of my tech text messages, do a phone call or something like that. It's very easy to do it with this outer display. And then if I wanna show somebody something, it's just great to open up that big outer display. Just everybody of any age can easily see what it is you're looking at. And there's just a million little ways that having this extra screen real estate is just so helpful on an everyday basis, whether you're at home or you're out on the go. And those many different use cases can really be enhanced with the use of some accessories. So the first one is of course, a case, the one I've gone with is the one that has the modularity between an S Pen and a stand. If I don't need either attachment, I can keep this off and the phone will still sit flat on the table, which is nice. But then when I do need one of these, I can just go ahead and clip them right on and attach them. And it is so nice to have an S Pen alongside this phone. I write a lot of notes on my Tab S8 Ultra and then I can bring them right over here to the fold and either add or subtract to them. So it's great to have this writing experience. And what I love even more about this S Pen being on the attached case here is that it just gives you a phenomenal phenomenal grip of this phone. You can use this phone one-handed very comfortably thanks to that grip. I have no problems holding on to this in many different angles. And this little bump here also provides a bit of a stand. So it's nice to prop this down on the table and the phone is elevated towards you. And then when you don't need this bump in this S Pen here, you can just simply detach that right off of the phone. And then I also love using this stand as well. You're gonna be watching a lot of content on this phone if you get it. And it's just so nice to easily Come in here, jump into a video, pop out that stand and just put this guy right on the table. Another accessory I absolutely recommend is any sort of mobile controller because I've said it time and time again, this is hands down the best mobile gaming experience on the market. Great performance with the powerful processor in this phone. We have adequately good battery life to have it last many hours on end and still have enough battery to get through the rest of your day. This is larger than a Nintendo Switch screen size. And this has the benefit of folding up and fitting in your pocket and just having a great 120 hertz refresh rate, AMOLED display, any mobile gaming controller is gonna be a huge win for this Fold device. Now, of course, the one area of concern on a foldable phone like this is the battery life. But on the Fold 4, I found that I could get as high as nine hours of screen on time. The battery life can also be as low as five hours. So in my most recent battery use case, I used the phone for five hours screen on time over the course of two days. And this obviously depends on if you're using the outer display more. 
if you're using the tablet more. In my most recent heavy tablet use case, I got near six hours of screen on time, which I think for just the tablet itself, that's very impressive. I know there's always gonna be a consumer out there that's always looking for more battery life, better battery performance. But I think overall here, all things considered as far as the weight of the phone, the sizing of the phone and the battery that they could fit into this, I think it's an overall great balance of great battery life. And as always with these foldables, we are making a couple of compromises to achieve this foldable form factor. Of course, one of those being that battery life capacity. You're not gonna get the massive battery capacity like you do of an S23 Ultra, because I think that would just make the phone too heavy and bulky then, then it wouldn't be as enjoyable to take around and use with you on a daily basis. We of course don't have as beefy of cameras on this fold, but I think the same thing again, if we have the completely specced out cameras on this fold, then it's gonna become bulkier. You're gonna have a bigger camera module on the back. It's gonna be a little less wieldy in the hand, given it's already very thick size. And while we may not have things like the 100 times zoom of the S23 Ultra, we're still getting the great 30 times zoom that is found on the S23 phones. For me personally, in my average everyday use, it's more than I'll ever need. So in exchange for a couple compromises compared to the latest and greatest smartphones out there on the market, we have overall just what has been a very enjoyable experience here. At the time of this recording, there are many other foldable phones out there. I feel like some of these larger ones, like the Xiaomi Mix Fold 2, you just have such a large outer display that you lose that one-handed user experience and then you're not using the tablet as much because you have such a larger display on the outside. Whereas on the Fold, it's the perfect balance in my opinion between a compact one-handed phone on the outside. And then when you do need that extra screen real estate, it's just so easy and smooth to just come right into this very immersive and just inviting and easy to use inner display. And I do not regret spending the excessive amount of money that this phone does cost, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel today for more foldable content and everything else from Samsung. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.